In this ever-changing complicated world, for a young person determining what they want to be when they grow up is also partnered with who they want to be and how to get there. But fortunately, there's a wonderful organization to help. I'm delighted to be joined by Clay Mitchell, the State Director of Skills USA. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank My pleasure, Marie. All right. Skills USA obviously has a vast array of things that they offer young people in determining, you know, what course they want to take in their lives. What does Skills USA do? So Skills USA is a career technical student organization. So that's a nice education jargon that talks about how do we help students make quality decisions for careers and what do they need to do to get there so they can be successful in life. People from business and industries that are looking for our products, which are our students, come to an event. The California event is about 3,200 students, and the national event is about 8,000 students. They come in, they have their time slot, and they perform whatever skill or task that they have set up from business and industry with their knowledge and their skill set. Back in the 50s and 60s when they did this, it was the things that the boys typically did. And so it was carpentry and plumbing and those sorts of things, those kinds of skills. Now we've expanded that to include culinary arts, speech, um, health care. There's a lot of different areas that we work in through SkillsUSA and help provide leadership training for those students and help them make good choices so they can be successful. Yeah, that's one of the things that I found so interesting. It's not just actually the skills that you need technically or just tangibly to do, but also how to be a leader and how to have confidence in yourself and some of the things that are more ephemeral, I would think, when it comes to these sort of things. Sure, I mean, we are a partnership with business and industry. You know, it's not educators just doing education for the sake of education. So we partner with business and industry, and those business and industry people tell us about what they need. And one of the things we hear the most today through these advisory committees that we have with business partners is we need people who can show up to work on time, that can be ethical, that can be honest, that can do a good job at the workplace. And if you give us that, we can do the rest of it. And of course, the other part of it is drug testing and those sorts of things in California, which has become a real challenge lately. I want to hear more, but we're going to have to take a short break and uh, we'll come back and chat some more. Great. Clay and I are delighted now to be joined by Loretta Caballudao, who is the state membership and chapter coordinator. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, so what is it that you say to people or young people or parents or anyone that might be interested now in being part of Skills USA. Whenever I have the opportunity to talk to a student's parent or guardian, mm -hmm. I like to celebrate that their uh, student has chosen this as a path. In most cases, you hear college is that direction. And, and when a student says that I want to be a carpenter or I want to be a chef, I celebrate that. There's such a huge need. I mean, I think we forget all of the things that we need in order to have, you know, a good life and good lifestyles. There's such a huge need, especially here in California. There's a big skills gap, yeah. and we want to lead the way in bridging that. Please welcome a real champion of Skills USA, Mr. Mike Rowe. 30,000 new members in Skills USA this year alone. 30,000? Are you kidding? Guys, this is incredible. The 
state conferences, the national conferences, they sound very exciting for a young person to be able to participate in, especially people who may not have ever had that opportunity to go anywhere or do anything. Absolutely. Um, that is one of the highlights of um, a, a high schooler's experience is to be able to travel outside of their um, school area and join us at um, conferences, um, our state conferences in Ontario, California, and they really get to see more of California and see that it's not just their school, but there's a big world out there for them. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, and I know you're a great role model. We've got lots more to talk about, but we'll be right back. Clay and I are delighted now to be joined by an alum of Skills USA and a very talented one at that, Brian Glispie. Hello. Hi. How are you? Just fine. So you were, as an alum, you went straight out of one of the programs into a full-time gig in broadcasting, which you have been enormously successful in. I learned about incident replay, I learned about uh, maintenance repair, I learned about the cameras, I learned, and then I went on to become one of the supervisors over at Fox on Fox, Fox uh, Sports. The message really is you got to learn it from the ground up. There's no easy way to do it. Right. You have had a remarkable career, as I said, straight out of school in an enormous array of different parts of the industry that changes on a second by second basis. Mm -hmm. um, what interested me as a child was, I think, just broadcasting in general. My first field trip, believe it or not, that I ever went on was to KTLA here in Los Angeles. And they took me there and they took me to the stages and everything. And on the way, the guy who was walking us around the lot, I saw the remote truck out there. And I said, man, that's really cool. What is that? Well, I'm like, oh, that's just a remote truck. Let's go this way. So I kind of stayed back and I started talking to the guys and they showed me the tape machines and all that other stuff. And that was it. I was sold. I said, I got to get into broadcasting. SkillsUSA is a really important organization for our students because it allows them a bunch of different opportunities, not only to demonstrate their industry specific skills, but also to demonstrate and learn leadership skills. And so for video production, that's the one we compete in. Other ones that our school competes in is uh, Future Farmers of America for our, our horticulture teachers and HOSA, which is our patient care pathway. The number of kids that participate here is in the hundreds. I think we're the second or third largest school as far as enrollment within the entire LA Unified School District. The self-confidence that the kids get through going through the competitive process as well as doing the service projects, um, it takes it and makes it into a much richer program versus just do the assignment, turn it in, get a grade. They're out, they're meeting with business people, they're meeting with industry folks, they're having guest speakers coming in, they get a chance to go on some tours, sometimes they might go to a trade show and they get involved in a much richer environment than uh, is traditionally available in a, in a single class period that you'd have in a normal course. So you begin with, I would say, middle school students, do you not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Middle school students, high school students, and college post-secondary students. Um, largest organization in the nation with SkillsUSA. We have more middle school students than any other state in the United States. We have more high school students and more college post-secondary folks. So it is a growing organization, and we work real hard to make sure that you know, we reach as many students as possible. Even with our size, we have the potential to serve over 500,000 students in the state of California. 